So here's the next part after the wedding transpires in the barn. Okay, all the guests start going out to these big tents. So they thrown because the ground is totally soggy now, saturated, standing water on grass, tables and chairs everywhere. And we're going to have to go through and pick a table and chair and sit down. So uh, they started throwing hay onto the floor. Uh, well, there's no floor, the ground. They were trying to sop up all of it. There was like the dance floor became cardboard. There was cardboard thrown out there so people could dance on the dance floor. And there was a band playing. And um, so we go and we, we're gingerly stepping through like all this hay, squishing it down into the mud. I feel like I was making bricks like in Egypt or something back in Moses' time. And anyway, we pick a table, we sit down. My chair starts going like this. It's sinking sideways into the ground. The legs are like going down. I'm trying to get myself situated. I look down, they have white uh, linens all over the tables, tablecloths, tablecloths touching the ground. Linen, tablecloths are like seeping upwards of all this wet rain and red mud clay in the south. Oh my gosh, it was a hot mess. But I will say this, the food was exceptionally good. We stayed, we had seconds. I was going back for another second. I saw somebody's shoes. They'd left their uh, high heels, just tossed them. They were completely covered in mud. Um, I, I went up to get some more food. There was the father of the bride. He's freaking cutting the wedding cake. I go, aren't you supposed to let your daughter and son-in-law do that? And he's like, we got to get this show on the road and get these people out of here. And I'm like, all right, I'm seconding that motion. So I'm leaving, going to get my seconds and then going to get some wedding cake. And then I see young folk and they're out there on the cardboard trying to dance. And there's people like there's ladies they've got their shoes off there there's an outdoor spigot they're trying to wash the mud it had squished in between all of their toes it was the biggest hottest mess you ever did see and um, it was a really fun wedding it was definitely memorable I appreciated the invite me and my husband have have great stories to tell you know uh, we gingerly walked our way back to the cow pasture where we had parked praying to God that we weren't gonna get the truck stuck thank God for four-wheel drive and we we got home and after that outdoor wedding was what drew the line we said we're never never gonna attend another outdoor wedding again never we'll send a gift send our best wishes and thank them for the invite but uh-uh you ain't never gonna see us at an outdoor wedding peace out